Hi friends, now in this review we're not going to repeat what a lot of other reviewers have said. So no specs, no price, no unboxing. I think this will be a helpful part two if you're thinking about getting this gimbal, have this gimbal, or just general advice about this gimbal and full frame cameras. Sony ones especially. We hope these ideas will help you think outside the box and come up with the best options for you. So I got my Buddha bowl with this lovely angel made for me. Um, a Buddha bowl. <laughs> lame. I only called it that as a joke. Got some Find it offensive to matcha this. infused protein shake. Excuse me for sounding like a Hodge twin there. And we're trying to test out this gimbal and lens combo mostly. So it's the 24 2.8 aperture Sam Yang little pancake lens. And we're also going to test out this other lens, which is a kit lens, the 3.5 to 5.6 16 to 50. And of course, we'll be using that in Super 35 mode because it's a little baby for little baby cameras. Those little APC, APS <laughs> cameras. So people probably think I'm a bit silly using this camera, a full frame camera on a action cam slash mobile phone slash point and shoot gimbal. But I'm going to show you that this is actually, I think it's my favorite gimbal that I've used because it's so light. It's half a kilo. This is going to be really fun to test this out. I'm going to show you some settings that makes this a lot better for bigger cameras. So yeah, we're going to test it out in a hike today. We're going to be seeing lookouts. We're going to be seeing waterfalls and maybe we're even going to catch a few glow worms if they're going to pick up on the Tamron. But 95% of the time we're going to use this pancake-ish lens setup going. Another good tip is when you're doing car ride, put it in the POV mode if your gimbal has that because there's a lot of winding roads and if you put it in pan follow or follow mode, it's just going to rock and you're going to lose your horizon and it's going to be all kinds of Dutch angles. We ready to do this? Yeah. You ready, Bibi? Yeah, yeah, it's just packed. Just trying to... How are you angels going? Good. Good. Ready for hikes? Yes. Oh my God, that person's leaving and I just got a park. That oh never my happens Jesus. I must have used the secret. It's the secret. What else could it be? What's the secret? That doesn't happen ever. Thank you. Thank you, Carl. Namaste, Namaste. Namaste. Kia. Thank you. Hearing me, you're gonna lose points. You are smarter than that, and you're more creative than that. That includes you changing song lyrics to be dumb. You know exactly what winds me up. <laughs> <laughs> and if you do any of those things, darling, we're gonna eat takeaway in the car <laughs> on the way home. And you're gonna eat leaves. <laughs> One leaf for every annoying thing you do, I'll collect it and you can eat it. Yay! Hey, Radi. Okay. Yeah. I have but one thing to say to you. Yes? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go, dudes. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of a bounce in my step and that happens the lighter the camera gimbal setup you have, but I think it's acceptable and the panning is really nice and smooth. I think that's the important thing with a gimbal. And here another issue, you can see how unlevel the ground is. That makes it a pretty unfair place to test any gimbal. So there's a little bit of a shake, but the panning is absolutely perfect. <laughs> 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 
see you, Simba. <laughs> so me personally, when I use the gimbal, I don't walk like a ninja, but I do wear some really soft runners, the Pegasus Turbos. So that makes filmmaking a bit more relaxing and it doesn't make you look like a 1940s cat burglar. So this is one of my favorite shots of the day and it just shows you that you don't need big heavy cameras and setups to get this kind of look. First impressions, what do you think? It's light, it's easy to use. Almost too light in a way compared to what we've been using before, so it kind of feels a bit different. You gotta be a bit more um, deliberate in your actions, otherwise, does that make sense? Yeah. It feels a lot lighter? It's good, I like it, it's light, it's easy to move around. It's a lot less cumbersome than the last setup that we had, which just didn't, you just couldn't go out and run around with it. It was too heavy. You definitely couldn't hold it out in some of the angles that you want to be able to because I'm not buff enough. Yeah, and even just holding out this, I did this with the Weeble Lab. It's just like full frame vlogging with a gimbal has been pretty unachievable. Like, and I got some gains. Do I even lift? Yes. And still, it was an arm breaker. And you don't want to have to be thinking about soreness. Anyway, the point is, is that this is really enjoyable. And that's what you want. You want your gear to be enjoyable to use. Me, I like full frame cameras and I love gimbals and everything else can be a compromise. I don't mind if I'm using pancake lenses. I don't mind. It's perfectly fine for me. That's, that's the compromise I'm willing to make. Whereas some people, they just want a 16 to 35 with no gimbal. That's cool. That's your choice. We all have so many choices. I smell waterfall. Oh, Let's this look. is beautiful. Let's look. One thing that helps with this gimbal is using two hands. And that makes the lightness seem more controllable. Also, I don't tend to use the thumbstick. And if you double click the menu button on the side, it disables the thumbstick. I like to use subjects in the foreground when I'm shooting like landscape. It really helps when we're out with these three angels. So we've got the microphone in this. The gimbal's not balanced for the microphone. So we'll just see how smooth it is, even with an unbalanced microphone. I tend to not balance the gimbals for the microphone because I don't like leaving them there because it's extra weight and it's an awkward weight. It's not center of mass, not close to center of mass. Yeah. This is not too heavy. I wouldn't want to do it for many, many, many kilometers, but for short periods of time with my untrained bicep, it's pretty manageable. And I can get my, I have really tiny arms. I can actually get this out away from my face a reasonable distance. The only reason I am puffing is because I am unfit and we are climbing back up the mountain. You might think why? Are you using APS-C lenses? The one that I've got. Well, you can connect the camera to the gimbal with the phone app. Stop there, mama. We had the original Crane M and it broke, but I did like that, but this is 
way better because we can do the same thing we did on the RX100 Mark V with that 16 to 50 mil APS-C lens. That rope. Jeebus. So I'm really happy. It reminds me of when we were first doing family vlogs and just having a real lot of fun on a gimbal and an RX Mark V. Mm. So much fun. Yeah. And this reminds me of that except better audio, better low light performance, better dynamic range. Right now I'm just going to enjoy the sceneries. We've threatened Ra with not having <laughs> Hungry Jacks. We're all going to eat it in front of him if he does one more antisocial thing. That's that parenting life. I'm sorry Ra if you're watching this as an adult, but you're an absolute gorgeous kid, but we all have our weaknesses and doing some thoughtless shit is something that you did while you were 10. Teaching you boundaries, buddy. And these two people love you so much that they're willing to have you go without Hungry Jacks so you can learn this vital lesson. And how often do we have fast food? Probably every three yeah. months, four months, if that. And we're certainly not saying you're a psycho. <laughs> we're just saying... Just need some healthy boundaries. We spoiled you a bit too much. I was probably very much like Ra when I was his age. I turned out to be a nurse, so I can't be too antisocial doing that job. So I just want to say a few things about this gimbal, is that a lot of people don't really know what they're talking about when they review gimbals and sometimes and they haven't tried out how to get good footage out of it. I've seen some terrible shaky stuff of this gimbal and I've seen some good stuff too. And when I see people reviewing gimbals and their footage is pretty shaky, I get skeptical. I don't know if it's the gimbal or the user because how come some people can get smooth footage out of a gimbal and other people get this shaky shit that why even have a gimbal in the first place? If your gimbal can tune like this one can and this one has got some really good settings and I did a little bit of work and I come up with some good settings I'll put them up check them out because it changes the gimbal a lot when I first got this gimbal I was like yeah it's okay like it's a little bit jerky then I put in these settings and I actually tried these very settings on the Weeble Lab and it was too much on the Weeble Lab it was too slow but this on this one it's perfect let me just clarify a point. Sometimes it's easier to get smooth footage from a gimbal than others. So maybe, yeah, and maybe it is shaky. Maybe because the other people have a really good ninja walk down. But sometimes people just don't balance the, their cameras. And how can you review a gimbal when you haven't even balanced it right? Oh, it's, it's pretty frustrating. And <laughs> just because they've got a following doesn't mean you should believe what they say. Okay, there's a few people that you should trust. Brandon Lai, Nomo Films. I'm gonna... Chickies. Chicken's crossing the road. Chicken. Why did the chicken like, cross the road? I nearly hit a rooster. There's like seven of them. Did you not see the yeah, row of I chickens? Did. Oh, give me a freaking heart attack. Imagine if I killed a chicken. No, you... Oh, that truck doesn't kill the chickens. There's chickens up there, fella. Just... No, I don't kill the chickens. Oh, God, I had a bloody heart attack. Six gorgeous roosters just crossing the road. Where are they going to? I don't know. This Over there? It's sounding like get... a joke. Where are we going, guys? Natural going bridge. Glow... What's going to be there? The glow one. Let's uh, come closer. Um, clay. Butch. With its worms that glow. Oh, worms! Ah! Ah! 
Ow! Ow! Carly. All that's left to do is to check out a bat cave and, well, not like the bat cave, but a bat cave. They're micro bats, aren't they? Yeah, they're tiny. And they're freaky. Another tiny thing, glow worms. We'll see if this Tamron 28 to 75 will pick them up, but I'm not sure it will. I feel like you'll need to have some kind of macro 100 mil super duper specific lens, but it's got a bit of macro capabilities on this lens, so we'll see. Let's do it. I said it so. this video was helpful to you if you are interested in getting these kind of pancakes lenses from Samyang you might need the Samyang lens station because this is version 2 and I think it works okay on face detect but on other kind of lower contrast type situations it's not as good and it pulses a little bit I think I'm going to need to get that station because I really like this lens otherwise. I love using the bigger setups too when I can but for all day filming like today and when you're doing travel, we only do carry on when we travel. At it, this point in our lives. Yeah. We may in the future step it up a notch. Maybe this is when just we have what we like, a few anyway. less children. I know but if we went for longer we might end up. Oh, we're pretty chill. We don't really need that much stuff. We're minimalist when, we, when it comes to travel. And there's an alternative to this gimbal, which is Fayetech G6 Plus. And we had that gimbal in Japan and I didn't like it because it was too jerky. It was not cinematic, the movements of that gimbal. And the app is awful. And it takes this camera too. It takes the Sony. It is an alternative, but what I'm saying is I like this one a lot better. It's a lot nicer in motion. It does clip the bottom a little bit, as you'd imagine, because the cage is so small, which is why it's so light. But it's half a kilo. That's crazy. Hope today you've seen a few good examples of what the gimbal and full frame Sony can do. Leave us a comment if you've got ideas and opinions if we got something wrong or you got a question for us maybe we'll be able to answer it and we do answer comments bye to yeah, the family thank you for this yeah. vlog thanks for watching you guys are the best yeah. Yeah.